is your personal and position? 31 seconds. of your personal physician's advice and is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or health care provider to determine what is right for you. Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. So glad you could spend a little time with me today. We're going to talk today about America's favorite beverage. Well, second favorite beverage, I guess. Soda. Coffee, I think, is probably number one. So we're going to talk about soda today. And the reason I talk about this is because so many patients come into our offices and we do chiropractic evaluations and nutritional evaluations. And so many times patients say to me, and uh, you've heard me say this before, Dr. Joe, uh, I eat a real good diet. I'm eating really well and I'm not losing weight and I'm eating really well and I don't understand what's going on. And then I look at their diet and I see them sucking down sodas on a regular basis. And I say, well, you say you're eating right. What about the soda? Oh, I only have about two or three a day. Two or three a day. We're going to talk about what happens if you have one soda a day. Regular or diet. So if you're drinking diet soda, folks, you really need to tune in because we're going to give you the chemistry behind why drinking diet sodas can actually make you gain weight. Isn't that crazy? Uh, and everybody says it can happen, but you know, with this show, if you listen to the Dr. Joe show on a regular basis, you're going to find out why. And that's the nice part about this show is you walk away going, I can't really argue with that. The science is there. So we're going to talk about sodas today. And I'm kind of other things, sugars, high fructose, corn syrup, artificial sweeteners. We've got a lot of things to cover today. Bisphenol A. Bisphenol A. What's bisphenol A? you got to tune in for that one. A caramel color. If you drink colas and you drink caramel color, I'm going to tell you why it's dramatically uh, higher levels than what's safe uh, when it comes to cancer. And why one can of soda, it can actually be linked to things like cancer. So it's pretty good stuff. And if you're first tuning in, I am Dr. Joe Esposito. I'm board certified in chiropractic. I'm board certified in orthopedics. I'm board certified in pain management, double board certified in nutrition, BS in nutrition, retired dietitian, award-winning author, nationally syndicated radio show host, obviously. Um, if you're tuning in December 19th, if you're tuning in before that, uh, we're going to be on Dr. Oz. So tune in Dr. Oz, check your local listings, the Atlanta area. It's going to be at 3 o'clock. Well, the show starts at 3 o'clock. I think I'm on like 3.10 or something like that. Um, but you don't want to miss that. It's a lot of fun. Me and Dr. Oz had a real good time, and now we're best buddies and probably hanging out together soon. But uh, that's a lot of neat stuff. So you don't want to miss that show either. It's going to be uh, fun. So the, the, the popularity is just growing like crazy, TV, radio, everywhere. So let's talk about soda. Disturbing side effects of soda. You're thinking to yourself, but it's just a soda, Dr. Joe. It causes you to lay down fat in weird places. You can gain weight, but when you drink soda, it's specific. New research, Danish researchers discovered that drinking non-diet sodas can cause a dramatic increase in a buildup of fat around your liver and your skeletal muscles. Now, this is important because your organs have to work. And when they're surrounded by fat, they're being compressed. So there's a physical issue as to why you don't want to build up fat around your organs. And there's also a chemical issue as to why you don't want to build up fat around your organs, especially the liver. Because everything you eat, everything you drink is going to get filtered out through the liver. And if the liver is all clogged up, it can't do its job. And in fact, a lot of research now is pointing to high cholesterol levels, maybe not being due to too much cholesterol, but being that you're producing too much cholesterol, but you're not recycling your old cholesterol. And why is that? The liver gets clogged up. The liver gets fatty. And so fatty liver becomes a real issue. When I went to school, if somebody had fatty liver, uh, with cirrhosis of the liver or uh, fatty liver, uh, we said right away they were an alcoholic and we got the test to question right we moved on. And now we're finding something called non-alcoholic fatty liver. And it's very, very common as a matter of fact. And people come in with fatty liver, they don't know what it is, they're not drinkers. It's coming from eating too much sugar. And soda is one of those big, big uh, contributors uh, to, to, to sugar intake. All right, study revealed that people who drank a regular soda every day for six months, so we said just one soda a day for six months, so 132 to 142% increase in liver fat. One innocent little soda a day. If you drank more than that, it became more of an issue. There was a, uh, a 117 to 212% jump in skeletal fat and about a 30% increase in both triglycerides, blood fats, and or fat around the organs. So if you have high triglycerides, doctor might say, well, Ahmad, we're going to have to put you on some medication." We're worried about you, Ahmad. You have high, you have high triglycerides or high cholesterol. We've got to do something about it. And I would then tell you, why don't we just cut out the soda and see what happens? It's that simple. Now, you don't drink soda. I know that. That's why I can pick on you, of course. No? Remember 
last time? When was the last time you had a soda? That long ago, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I can pick on him on because I know he's, he's, he's just an innocent bystander. And we've got a double pane bulletproof glass between us. So he can't come after me. So <laughs> that's why if you wonder why I pick on him so much. And uh, Now, Garrett is right in front of me here. So I've got to be a little more delicate with Garrett. He has easy access. So. You better watch out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, but I'm not, I, 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 don't, I cannot run him, but i got a glass between me. Uh, but one soda can do all these things and raise your liver, raise your triglycerides. And that becomes a real serious issue. And then if you do get fat around the liver, what's going to happen is the liver isn't recycling cholesterol and that can give you high cholesterol levels. So if we give you medication like statin drugs, well, that works. It, stop, it slows down your production of cholesterol. But the same enzyme that produces cholesterol produces something called coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10. CoQ10 is necessary because the mitochondria of your cells need CoQ10 to produce energy. So a lot of times when patients come to my office, I'm tired all the time, doc. First thing I think is, okay, what's their diet look like? What are their adrenal glands? Are they working properly? And one of the questions I always ask is, are you on statin drugs? And if you're on statin drugs, we may have to start looking at, mm, maybe you're just not producing enough CoQ10 or coenzyme Q10. And so one of my recommendations across the board is that if you're taking statin drugs, you should be taking a coenzyme Q10 supplement. Ubiquin all, by the way, O-L, not O-N-E. I like the all one. Um, so that's going to be a good form of, of, of CoQ10, and then you can start getting the CoQ10 back into your mitochondria, and that can help your energy levels. Because here's, the, here's the, the, the rub, is that your heart is a muscle. And so if you're taking statin drugs, you, you slow down the production of CoQ10, the heart needs CoQ10 to work, to beat, to function. And so here we are trying to stop one heart issue and maybe creating another. And that worries me. So if you're going to take statin drugs, I'm not saying don't take them. If your doctor says take them, you need to take them. My suggestion would be to start taking CoQ10 as well. Folks, I'm going to open up the phone lines. If you have any healthcare questions, the number here at the studio is 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, drjoe.com. But if you have any healthcare questions, not necessarily just about soda, give us a call at 844-44-DR-JOE. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, and I think you should, we want to get you back to health. We want to naturally get you well and keep you well. You can go to my website, drjoe.com, or you can set up an appointment by calling 844-44-DR-JOE. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Hey, folks, tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. So far, so good. Okay, excellent. I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> we got one computer that will run the video. The other one won't run the video. We got one. The other computer, however, will run the sound, but the opposite <laughs> won't run the sound. So it's it's kind you of need, a mix up here. You need another headset then? Um, uh, no, we're okay. Okay, we could probably go steal one from somebody. Um, no, I'm talking about the input for the callers. Oh, the input for callers. One, one computer will do the caller audio, and one computer will do the video. Got it. But I, can't, I have to have both of them on one for I one understand. instance. Of, okay. Yeah. Anyhow, we do have a couple of questions already. Technology. Thank you guys for, you know, sticking it out with us while we try to figure a lot of this out. Yes. Technical uh, difficulties, please stand by. We'll work it out. You can add a listener watch if we can't do both. Seven minutes in, seven minutes on, more commercials. Yeah, that's right. That's how it works. So, Dr. Joe. Hi. My husband has gout in his toe. Yes. I put him on turmeric and bromelain. Good. What else can he do to prove uh, to prove that is, that this, putting him on all raw foods, taking away meat, sugar, and dairy? Any other suggestions? Uh, that would be the There's key. A typo in there somewhere. Okay, yeah, because fructose, one of the sugars, converts into uric acid. So it's not just meat producing uric acid. Fructose produces uric acid. Uric acid prevents nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide production opens up your blood vessels and increases your circulation. So it's very important. Uh, I would get them on nitric oxide, first of all, Dr. Joe's nitric oxide. That's on the website, drjoe.com. A lot of callers, holy cow. I'd get them on super greens and essential source to alkalize the system because uric acid is an acid and super greens and essential source are loaded with minerals to neutralize those acids. So super greens, essential source of nitric oxide, absolutely positively. B vitamins have been shown to help uric acid as well. So I would take Dr. Joe's B complex. And then of course, everyone should be taking vitamin D every day, especially in the winter time, 5,000 international units a day. Now you also want to consider chiropractic care. But if you have a pinched nerve in the low back, these are the nerves that control the feet. Those nerves and blood vessels wrap around each other. So if you have a pinched nerve, you also have a pinched blood vessel. So nitric oxide, super greens, essential source, B-complex, and chiropractic care would be the protocol I would get on if I was in his situation. So there you go. There's your answer. I think you're getting so many callers because it's a sensitive subject. 
Soda? Could be, yeah. Taking away that diet Yeah, coke. it's like, boom, I looked over and everything was lighting up over there, so. <laughs> um, on the topic of soda, is yes. all sugar equal? No. No, that's what we're going to talk about today. Don't jump ahead. We're going to cover <laughs> fructose and glucose uh, and, and uh, agave, if we remember, and artificial sweeteners. So we're going to cover all that. That's going to be the show. I don't want to give you the answer now. I don't want to talk about it for an hour and a half. It's your buddy, Mr. Ayer. As usual, great show. Thanks for the info. Thank you, Dr. Ayers. Um, <laughs> so... I know we talked about this on our, our statin drug show a little while ago, but is it good to take CoQ10 even if you don't take statins? You can, yes, because it's going to go into the mitochondria and produce energy. So, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And lastly, until you all get some more questions in, what would you recommend to help someone who smokes and has really bad sleep apnea? I forgot what was said about sleep apnea from the past episodes. Okay, you many times sleep apnea is a chemical reaction, not a, is a physical reaction, not a chemical reaction. So what that means is you have a sheet of muscle called your diaphragm. Your stomach can push up into the diaphragm. And if you're breathing, your diaphragm is supposed to drop down. And then as you exhale, the diaphragm moves up. I have to keep listening to see if I'm coming on. Um, and if the stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm, when you lay down, you don't have gravity assisting the diaphragm pulling down. And that many times leads to sleep apnea. Your stomach's job is also to break proteins into amino acids. And amino acid tryptophan becomes serotonin. And serotonin becomes melatonin, which helps you sleep. So if somebody has sleep apnea and they have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, uh, chronic cough, sinus problems, you need to come see us so we can pull the stomach away from the diaphragm and fix it. So now on that subject, before someone asks, <coughs> what is your opinion of taking melatonin? If you take melatonin, your body may stop producing its own levels. So if you take it short term, that's okay, but you also want to get to the cause of the problem, which is usually the stomach or a digestive issue, not breaking proteins into amino acids. So, so it's good for jet lag, things like jet that. lag, emergency, you're tired, you just can't get some sleep, you know, you're wired up, you had an emotional day, but don't start relying on it because then it's going to cause an advert, a reverse effect. So, and again, if you have any questions on social media, send them in and we'll try to sneak them in uh, between, well, not sneak them in, we cover the social media when we're not on the air with radio, so. Here we go. The President of the United States of Health. Now on News 95.5 at AM 750 WSB. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. I am so glad you're spending some time with me. I'm always very flattered and honored that you'll do that. Today we're talking about soda and it must be a, a hot topic. The phones are lighting up. We're getting lots of folks on social media making comments. So um, if you do have a healthcare question, the number here at the studio is 844-44-DR-JOE. Um, and that number, by the way, rings through my offices when I'm not on the air. So let me finish up this one thought about fat and weird places, then I'll start taking some callers. So if you're on hold, uh, please keep hanging on. So they did this study. They talked, uh, if you're just, just tuning in, they found that if a Danish study found that if you drink uh, soda, you can increase your uh, uh, skeletal fat by about 117 to 221%. You can increase organ fat, 132 to 142%, raises your cholesterol levels by 11%. Wow. But here's the thing that concerns me most about that study. In Dane, Daneland, the Danish use sugar. They don't use high fructose corn syrup. In the United States, we use high fructose corn syrup. And I would bet that if we did that study with high fructose corn syrup sodas, the numbers would be worse. Now, I don't know that for a fact. That's my opinion. Uh, and I'm going to talk about high fructose corn syrup in a little bit. All right, let's start taking some callers here. Joe, how can we make your day better? Uh-huh. Awesome. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Right. There you go. Sure. All right. Well, here's... Sure. 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 
I understand you. Yeah. So what happens is when you eat plain old table sugar, white sugar, it's 50% fructose and 50% glucose. The glucose goes right into the body and is utilized as fuel. It goes right into the cells. Insulin is released from the pancreas. Insulin goes to the cells in the body and kind of opens them up. It acts like a key. Opens up the cell and allows sugar in. Fructose can't be utilized that way. Fructose has to be converted into glucose. And in the process, if you do more than 20 grams a day, your body starts producing something called uric acid. Now, you may be somebody who produces more uric acid than other people. Uric acid gets into joints and it hurts. So chances are the reason you're having your problems is because the fructose and the sucrose and the uric acid, and that's where the problems are coming from. So it's a, it's a conversion issue from fructose into glucose, and that's a logical explanation. And the other thing too, Joe, if you've been an athlete, chances are you have bones out of place, you have damage to muscles, and as we, yeah, and that's where chiropractic steps in. Yeah, we, have, we treat so many professional and amateur athletes because if, you're out of, if the bones are out of place, you're building up strong muscles around crooked bones. You want to build up strong muscles around straight bones. So through chiropractic care, that would increase the nerve and blood supply to the muscles, and that might help ease some of the pain as well. Okay. All right, Joe. Appreciate the call. Thanks so much. All right, folks. The number here at the studio, 844-44-DR-JOE, if you have any questions. 844-44-DR-J-O-E. Anthony, how can we make your day better? I'm very happy. But you're quite... Okay. Yep. Sure. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, ginger ale is sweet with sugar, and the problem isn't the sugar. The, the thing that's working for you isn't the sugar, it's the carbonation and it's the ginger. So what you can do is just have some ginger tea and see if that helps. Uh, personally, I make my own ginger tea. I take fresh ginger, organic ginger, I peel it a little bit, don't peel it too well, and I puree it in a, you know, a good, good uh, blender, and I put it, I cover it about halfway with lemon juice and puree it, and puree it until all the strings are broken up, because other, ginger can be stringy. Then I pour it in an ice cube tray and freeze it. But yeah, and every morning then I have some ginger tea, and what I do is I'll, I'll add a little stevia to it. If you, if you use honey, you can use a little honey, and the ginger is amazing. And if you did that every morning, it may be, be prophylactic and prevent you from having these problems. Yeah, and if you're, having, if you're having seizures, a lot of times we find that the upper neck, the upper part of the neck, the atlas, moves out of place. And it puts pressure on what's called the brain stem, and that can actually lead to seizures. So you might want to consider chiropractic evaluation as well to see if we can get rid of those seizures. Oh, got it. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Great. Uh, just, that's a lot, yeah. Okay. Yeah, try, try to ginger tea in the morning. Give me a call back. Let me know how it works. Thanks, Anthony. Appreciate the call. Folks, if you have a question, 844 Joe. We're talking today about soda. Weird things that soda, that soda does uh, to your body when you use it. And one of the things I said, that the Dane, the, there was a Danish study that found these, these problems with soda. And I said, I bet you if you're using high fructose corn syrup like we do here in the States, you'd probably even see worse effects. And I kind of brushed on that when I answered that question because fructose has to be converted into glucose and that's when you produce the uric acid. Uric acid prevents the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide opens up your blood vessels to your brain, to your reproductive organs, family show, keep it clean here. But a lot of guys and gals now take Dr. Joe's nitric oxide as a, uh, an assist in the romantic department. How about that? Because it, it opens up the blood vessels for men and women. And a lot of people are really happy with that because sometimes they may take commercial medications that may be used for circulatory issues and they have a lot of side effects and they find the nitric oxide works great. The other thing that with nitric oxide is it opens up your blood vessels so it might help lower your blood pressure. So here's a warning for you. If you're taking blood pressure medication, you're taking Dr. Joe's nitric oxide, be careful. Monitor your blood pressure. If the blood pressure starts getting too low, you have to make a decision cut out the nitric oxide or cut off the medication. Again, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not here to tell you to take drugs or not take drugs, but I think the question, the answer is pretty obvious. And so when you start adding chiropractic, opening up the nerve and blood supply, then you start adding nutrition, um, people are pretty thrilled with the results. And I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated every minute of every day of my life, why everyone just doesn't do this. Why don't you get chiropractic care? If you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, if you've ever 
been in a car accident. If the car was damaged, you were damaged. And my team of doctors are really good at working on car accident cases. We get probably four or five a week from people that have gone to other doctors and they weren't getting the results that they wanted. Now, I, we co-managed a case with their other doctors. We're not here to steal patients, of course, but I can't tell you how many people come in and say, doc, I've tried this, I've tried this. Now we come to you and within a couple of weeks, they're like, oh my gosh, why didn't I do this sooner? So if you have a health issue, pain-wise, come see us. We'd love to be your doctors. If you have a nutrition issue, we'd love to work with you as well. And most of our patients would like to do chiropractic work and nutrition. And if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, many times, we talked about this uh, many times on the shows, the stomach pushes up against the diaphragm. We need to adjust or pull the stomach away from the diaphragm. It's not hard. It's pretty easy. And when you do it, people are just amazed. Why didn't I do this sooner? They spend so much money and so much time. Now, sometimes you need other treatment. But we'd like to be one of your doctors in, in your, 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 your treatment plan. So if you'd like to make an appointment, go to my website, drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E, or give us a call at 844-44-DR-JOE. The number here at the studio right now, if you dial 844-44-DR-JOE, you'll get through to Justin. He's our screener today. And we'll try to get you on the air if you have a good question, and we'll see if we can answer your questions. But again, the website's there 24 hours a day, 844-44-DR-JOE. All the supplements I talk about, the super greens, the essential source, those are on the website too, drjoe.com. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Visiting Angels is America's choice. In don't forget you're on. So be careful what you say. You're, 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 you're streaming here. So. Plain seltzer water over soda or plain seltzer water. Yeah, we have some questions about LaCroix. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. You get all excited over there. Hey, you know, I listen. I know. We got our celebrity here today. Johnny Rizzo's with us today. Johnny uh, Rizzo, two-time Emmy Award winner. Please. I'm Johnny. a legend in my own mind. Hey, ask him. He'll tell you he's great. Can you turn the camera? Johnny, wave. Two <laughs> time, uh, two Emmys. And wearing my... Deadwood. He... That's, for, that's for Garrett. That's for Garrett. That's for Garrett for Deadwood. Yeah. Two times. I've, I've been to his house. Those Stop. Emmys are heavy. How do you Stop. lift those things? They're like solid gold, aren't oh. they? So, anyway. All right. So, questions? Yes. Uh, so you were talking about ginger tea, and funny enough, somebody had already asked the question, what are the health benefits of ginger tea? There you go. It's an aphrodisiac. Uh, it's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, it helps with uh, dizziness and vertigo. So many, many benefits of ginger tea. And I just like the flavor of it. Nausea. 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 I knew her, right? That's a, your Italian aunt. No. Nausea. No. My aunt, aunt Nausea. Aunt Noah. Because Z in Italian is uncle. Zia <laughs> is, is aunt, right? Uh, Tia. Tia is Aunt Z. Well, well, I'm thinking Spanish. Tia is Tia Tio, so that's Spanish. That's Spanish. And uncle. Z is uncle. Yeah. I know that because we had an Uncle Z. We used to call him Uncle Z, yeah. which means we would call him Uncle Uncle. uncle. Yeah, right. <laughs> like pizza pie. Like pizza pie, you're right. <laughs> so anyway, more questions? Um, so again, what are your thoughts on LaCroix? That's, that's okay. I mean, it does have bubbles in it. And the bubbles are slightly acidic. So, I mean, but that's if that's the biggest sin you pr produce, that's fine. LaCroix is perfectly fine. Now, I am going to talk about cans. And what the lining of the can, bisphenol A, that's coming up. So we're going to talk about the can. So if you're going to drink seltzer, you want to make sure you get it in a bottle. Um, Garrett's just doing amazing. He's so amazing. He does everything here. He's, he's moving the cameras around and he's answering questions. And I tried to fix this and, and show you all how pretty Johnny is. Yeah, I know, oh, right? No, 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 there no. you go. We should bring him around here. We stand right next to him. I was never pretty. I, I, um, okay, but and then what are your thoughts on Mio and some of the other um, the flavorings? Yeah, just be little... careful because a lot of them have artificial sweetener, artificial flavor in them. So I looked up Mio and okay. it's uh, less than two percent natural flavors, which natural flavoring could be anything, doesn't... right? Yeah, um, crushed beetles. Crushed beetles. Oh, the red stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. uh, but everything that's in it, I mean, citric acid is not horrible. Right. Uh, propylene glycol. That's the, uh, that's uh, antifreeze. And then sucralose. Sucralose. Well, that's so uh, as your answer. Your artificial sweetener. <laughs> We're going to cover that soon. Uh, so just, yes, be careful about what kind of artificial sweeteners. How about you make your own carbonated water with the soda stream and just squeeze an orange in it? Or squeeze, squeeze an orange. Put some stevia, stevia in it. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Not even the stevia. Screw it. Just, just, just an orange. Yeah. Do you get, yes. Uh, now, what do you, uh, as far as taking Bragg's vinegar. Yes. So we can say apple that. Apple cider vinegar. Um, is it good for you? Yes, you want to do organic, raw apple cider vinegar. You can do about a tablespoon, about two tablespoons a day is fine. It alkalizes the system. It has probiotics in it. It stimulates your digestive system. So the answer is a resounding yes. And what do you think about human growth hormones? I've read articles that are considering it the fountain of youth. Now, ladies, this may be a shock to you. No steroids. This is all natural. I know it's hard to believe. Uh, I'm not a big fan of taking human growth hormones because it messes up your own natural hormones. 
And so short term, it might be an issue. But you want to know the fountain of youth? The fountain of youth is don't poison yourself. Stop eating alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. Make most of your diet consist of vegetables, some fruits, nuts, and seeds. Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, Dr. Joe's Nitric Oxide. People think I'm about 15 years younger than I am. And I like that. And I'm going to go with that. Um, because it, it really does slow down the aging process. And even my high school reunion's coming up. My 40-year high school reunion's coming up. And people look at it and they go, oh my God, this is incredible. They said, how, how, you look like you did in high school. A little less hair, but you look like you did in high school. And I said, well, I'm, take care of myself and you can take care of yourself too. Because there's only about 26,960 days in the average life. Why would you want to speed up that process anymore? And it's not hard. It's really easy. And here's the kicker. It's so much cheaper to live this lifestyle than anything else. So you'll live longer, feel better, have more money, reverse the aging process, not have to take hormones, which can really mess up your natural cycle of hormones. And that can cause real serious problems because your body's in a negative feedback loop. Uh, your, your, your body produces hormones and then it goes up to the brain. The brain says, okay, we've got enough of those hormones. Stop making them. And then the hormone, okay. The hormones start dropping and then the brain says, okay, the pituitary gland sends out a message to the, to the endocrine system and says, all right, produce hormones again. Well, that's an issue because if you start putting in these artificial hormones, the pituitary gland is saying, I got plenty of hormones. I don't have to produce anymore. And then your organs stop producing them. So if you have to take them, absolutely. But if you don't have to take them, I'd much rather you try to get your own body to produce it. For example, the adrenal support, Dr. Joe's adrenal support helps the adrenal glands produce more of its natural hormones. And so you can make your own as opposed to taking it from an outside source. So that's what I like. How's that for an extended version? So a little off topic, that's okay. Janet says, your thoughts on kombucha? It's okay. Now here's the kicker. What was her name? The actress who got dr caught drinking all the time. Um, um, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. This is where Lindsay Lohan affects your life. I don't remember that her name because of the story. I just remember from two weeks ago when you mentioned it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan got addressed a lot for drinking. I don't know what she's doing these days. Okay. Um, and what happened was um, one time she went before the judge. She said, I wasn't drinking alcohol. I was drinking kombucha because kombucha is fermented. It produces an alcohol. All the kombucha in the whole country had been taken off the shelves. And now they have to pasteurize the kombucha all because of Lindsay Lohan. And when they pasteurize it, they destroy some of the probiotics. So kombucha is fine. Um, but it's part of a healthcare protocol. It's not instead of a healthcare protocol, but it's okay. I mean, how much heat goes into pasteurizing it though? Enough like to kill a couple hundred degrees. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I guess they have to kill off the bacteria and burn off the alcohol. But, when but it, I mean, to burn off the alcohol, they kill the bacteria. Good. Exactly. But they're killing <laughs> off the good bacteria when they burn off the alcohol. All right. Here comes weather. So we should be coming up soon. So. And by the way, folks, if you're on social media, share this with all your friends so that they can tune in as well. We really do appreciate that. We think, as far as we know, we're the number one streaming health and wellness show in the world because of you. So make sure you keep sharing it with your friends. We do appreciate that. No one's challenged us yet. Challenged us yet. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're there because that means you're learning lots of good stuff. And if you're just tuning in, we're talking about weird side effects that soda does to you. And it's really important you listen to this because most people drink soda. Um, diet soda, not any better. In fact, probably worse. Uh, sugar, of course, gets a bad rap and it should. Well deserved. Uh, surprising that diet soda can actually cause you to pack on the pounds. Researchers from the University of Texas Health Science monitored 475 adults for 10 years. Ready for this one? They found that diet sodas uh, caused a 70% increase in waistline circumference over a 10-year study, if you just drank one a day. 70% increase in your circumference of your waist. You're gaining weight by using this stuff. Those who drank two diet sodas a day saw a 500% waist expansion. Two diet sodas a day. Bam. Now, I know this because I work with a lot of people, and some of them drink diet sodas, and every single one of them is overweight. 
I've never seen a skinny person drinking diet sodas who's not overweight over time, because eventually it's going to get to you. So that's what the problem is. A separate study, uh, same research is conducted on mice. This is important. Suggested that it was the aspartame, which raised blood glucose levels, which then caused the weight gain and caused the liver um, to react due to too much glucose. So your body's releasing insulin, so it thinks that it has sugar, so then the body starts craving sugars, which is one of the side effects um, of too much insulin, and that can cause some problems. Uh, the excess was converted into body fat. We talked about that many times, that sugar converts into fat. Because when you eat sugar, the glucose is used as fuel. Once all the glucose fuel is used, once all the cells have enough glucose, the body sends it back to the liver, converts into glycogen. Glycogen is where we store energy. And once all the glycogen stores are filled up, the body then sends it back to the liver, converts into triglycerides, and that gets stored as fat. So it's raising your insulin levels with the artificial sweetener, and that's where the problem comes in. And then the cells uh, can only be bombarded with insulin for so long a time. And once the cells are bombarded with insulin, the cells become insulin resistant. They say, listen, if you insulin's gonna open me up and let sugar in, I can't let any more sugar in. So the cells become insulin resistant. Now the cells aren't accepting the glucose or the sugar. That glucose then has to be converted to glycogen, then in triglycerides, and then stored as fat. So insulin resistance is a pretty serious issue. And artificial sweetener can cause it. Wow. So the more artificial sweetener you use, you, you, chances are the more weight you're going to gain and you create something called insulin resistance, which ultimately is called what? Type 2 diabetes. Wow. And I, aspartame, and I can give you many lectures on aspartame. If you're on hold, by the way, keep holding. I, I, got, I got to cover this one last thought and I'll start taking some callers. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. And that number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. Aspartame breaks down to three components, aspartic acid, phenylalanine, and methyl esters. Aspartic acid, when it gets into the brain, is an excitotoxin. It causes the brain to fire faster than it's supposed to and can literally burn out your brain cells. It's an excitotoxin. It's a toxic toxin that excites the brain. It also breaks down to phenylalanine. Phenylalanine is one of the byproducts of, of aspartame. And phenylalanine, if it gets into your kidneys, can cause some real serious kidney damage. And if you don't process phenylalanine, you have a condition called phenylketonuria, which if you drink artificial sweetener with phenylalanine in it, it can kill you. It also breaks down to methyl esters. Methyl esters is methanol, which is what? Wood alcohol. And wood alcohol is a highly toxic poison. In fact, if I was going to sell it to you, I'd have to sell it with a skull and crossbones on it. It's a poison. And uh, wood alcohol, methanol, uh, has a tendency to attack the optic nerve. So a lot of people use artificial sweetener, come to me and say, Dr. Joe, my vision's getting worse. I'm starting to see tunnel vision. I, I don't know. I went to the doctor. They can't find out why. It's happening really quickly. And if they're on artificial sweetener, I got to get them off it. Now, it usually takes about six months to detoxify from the artificial sweetener. So if you're doing artificial sweetener, stop. Okay, you need to stop that right away. Uh, and so the artificial, it's not just the, what we're finding here with the, um, the waist circumference issues. It's also a neurological issue. issue. Now, when I, I'm going to take some questions. When I come back, Eric, remind me, I want to talk about sucralose, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, which is the yellow packet. Phyllis, how can we make your day better? Hi. Yes. I love compliments. Go on. Okay. Wow, what an honor. Yes. I understand. Sure. Uh huh. <laughs> I remember hot dogs in, yep. Sure. Sure. Good. Excellent.
Sure. I know. Now we do. Yep. Yes. Okay, what's the question? We're running out of time here. Hurry up. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, all right, give me the question. Hurry up. We're running out of time here. Come on, Phyllis. I love you, but you got to hurry up. Okay. L.C. Lacan, it helps produce, I understand what it is. Yeah, it helps produce neurotransmitters in the brain, which is okay, um, but it's not the end all be all. It's not a magic bullet. Uh, with you got to get circulation to the brain. That's why we have Dr. Joe's nitric oxide support. So that would be step number one. The, the carnitine is okay. It's going to help produce neurotransmitters. But the key to neurotransmitters is making sure your digestive system is working. Because as we get older, our stomach doesn't break proteins into amino acids like it used to. And the amino acid tryptophan becomes serotonin and tyrosine becomes dopamine and glutamine becomes GABA. And so you got to get these amino acids in there. And so if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, you probably need to come see us so we can adjust or pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. So it's a physical adjustment we can do. Chiropractically, we open up the nerve and blood supply up into the brain because you have a blood supply in the back of your neck called the basovertebral artery. So if you have pinched nerves in your neck, we got to realign the neck to open up the basovertebral artery. Uh, then we add super greens and essential source. Those are on the website too, drjoe.com. That's the minimum amount of nutrients you need every single day. And that's going to help you get the neurotransmitter production up. So super greens, essential source, and nitric oxide, and then B complex because B vitamins are necessary for brain function. So those would be the supplements I recommend along with chiropractic care, but you need to stop putting the bad foods in your body. And if you cut out the bad foods, yes, no bad foods. Good. Perfect. Okay, so alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener need to go. We need to get the super greens, the essential source, the nitric oxide, and to be complex. And then if you have any neck issues, come see us for a chiropractic visit. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate the call. And folks, if you have a healthcare question, 84444 Dr. Joe. We're talking today about the side effects of sugar. Uh, actually, soda here. So, all right, we're going to go to break in just a second. Again, the number here, 84444-DR-JOE. Um, the website, drjoe.com. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, if you want to order supplements, we have well over a 1,000 hours of podcasts there. Really good website, drjoe.com uh, is right there. And in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. So, we want to be your doctors. We want to help get you well and keep you well. So, stop suffering needlessly and come see us. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Don't be afraid to carry that collar over. Hey, yeah, well, I just... Esposito. So glad you're here. I love when you guys are here because we always have a good time. And hopefully you learn something every show because uh, that's my goal. We've done well over, I don't know, thousands and thousands of shows and lectures and talks. And every time we do one, I try to give you information you never heard before. And so if you like what you're Call hearing, go to my website, drjoe.com. Okay, you guys can use it. You have a podcast service. It's all for the health of people. I'm not sure what happened there. That was really weird. He started running again. Pick up the Atlanta Journal Constitution during the holidays and save time and money on your shopping plans. The AJC is stuck. That was really weird. Okay, so something I want you to try to do is to ask questions geared towards social media. Okay. Look at that at 44. He's locations throughout Metro Atlanta. Johnny, go ask, go ask the body. He has it up here 48 minutes to come out. It should have been at 44. Was that, was, a mistake? was that my mistake or his? Okay, what's the question? Um, we usually go out at 44 after the hour. He had me coming out at 48. So I don't know if that was my mistake or his. Okay, yes. Go ahead. What? Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, yeah, so I want to try to get... Uh, a little more interactive in terms of some of the questions. Is there, you know, if you find a question throughout your your talk, I'll try to grab some as well so that we can gear some questions towards the um, social media. Like... You lost me. It's bad. If someone on the computer will take care of it. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, good. Okay. So we're talking about sodas. What are some what are some things that you guys are doing instead of drinking soda? Oh, so ask them questions. Yeah. Oh, got it. Okay, now I understand. Now I got also, it. Also, are we on the air? Yeah. Yes. We're always on. We're always also, on the air. Also, Johnny says slow down. Some big, big words. words. 
slow down. Johnny, you know, you're just slow joining down us. on the big words. The famous Johnny Rizzo is no, no, with us today. Famous. famous. Johnny's two not time too, Emmy Award winner. Johnny's not too Johnny smart. Rizzo. He wants Dr. Joe to slow down on the big words, even though I know about it because Dr. Joe tells me about it because some of the listeners might not know. Two time Emmy Award winner. And, and, right? Right? everybody it doesn't else. Doesn't mean anything. Everybody else. Johnny doesn't, Rizzo. There he is. Thing. Very famous. Does not mean a thing. <laughs> slow down on the big words. He's done She's makeup. For, name some big stars you did makeup for. Come on. You did Predator. You worked on Predator. Worked on you Predator. worked on. Uh, that's right. We beat up the Predator. That's right. You beat up the Predator. See? So? Yeah. And I forgot to bring your. Oh, I forgot. We'll, we'll do, do next time. Yeah, but I should. Get it, get it, get it. Right. So there you go. Anyway, that's Johnny Rizzo. So, all right, questions? Yes. Here's a question for you guys. Send us some questions. Why aren't you sending us questions? <laughs> Dr. Joe, my wife wants to know what salad dressings you recommend. In what my book. Your, and what is your opinion of coconut oil? Okay, in my book, Eating Right for the Health Fit, we have a whole chapter on salad dressings. A simple salad dressing, uh, you could use lemon juice if you wanted to, lime juice, uh, raw organic apple cider vinegar. With uh, if you olive could, oil? You want olive oil? With olive oil. With olive oil. Um, you can water it down a little bit if it's too strong. Um, again, oils are still processed. Now, I'm, I'm okay with coconut oil. I'm okay with olive oil, but it's still a processed food. So you don't want to like live on this stuff. And that's what we're finding now with the ketogenic diet. Gosh, it's been 47 minutes and no one asked. Um, <laughs> amazing. That the ketogenic diet um, is a lot of fats. And the studies now coming out that if you do it long term, it can increase your risk of heart disease by about 30%. We covered that on the show in the past. Explain what the ketogenic diet is. Everyone knows what the ketogenic on, diet is. Eat mostly on. fat. 60 to 70 percent. Not everybody knows. Well, I was going to say, you know, speaking of ketogenic diet, we, we really haven't got any ED questions in a while. That's right. We used to get erectile dysfunction in ketogenic diets. Right? It's 48 minutes in. I'm surprised we haven't gotten that yet. <laughs> um, but the ketogenic diet is cutting out your carbs and eating fats. Um, I'm not a fan of it. The studies now, it's been out long enough to show that it can increase your risk of heart disease. Um, uh, they had the all, all meat diet for a while ago. Of course, that went to the wayside because people were dropping dead of heart disease. Um, the best diet is eating whole foods. Whole food meaning unprocessed. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. If you don't know what to eat, my book, Eating Right for the Health of It, great guide, tells you how to change your diet. Well over 200 recipes. There's a whole chapter on salad dressings in there. So there you go. All right, we're almost we're coming back on. So any quick if questions? If you want to try one, there's an awesome mango salad. The Dr. Joe's Mango Salad, the number one salad over at our Thomas Grill in Atlanta. So the... Richard Thomas stole my recipe. We're fr we were friends. He passed away now. But we're very good friends. And uh, it's the number one. It might be the number one dish over there, but I know it's at least the number one salad in the whole restaurant. Oh, here we go. Learn what you should eat and what not to eat to get healthy. Dr. Joe Esposito is on News 95.5 at AM 750 WSB. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you could spend a little time with us. What a pleasure to have you here. It's really great. Lots of callers today, lots of folks on social media, too. Hey, do me a favor. Follow us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. And the reason I say that is uh, because we live stream a lot of our shows, and then you get to watch it, if you'd like to do that, uh, get to see my pretty face. But it's really cool, and we take, we take all these shows, and we put them on my website, drjoe.com. And so if you're an audio learner, we have SoundCloud. You can download those. We have video, lots of videos there. If you like to watch the shows, we record all my lectures that I do. We put them on there as well. Uh, we do a show uh, called, uh, if, you, if you have a podcast, it's called For the Health of It, if you have a podcast service. And that's put, uh, actually, in a TV studio. It's really cool. I got For the Health of It backdrop and everything. It's really cool. And all of those are on the website. They are on the website, aren't they, Web Webmasters? Uh, they are. Okay, they are there. So, mm -hmm. And those are really cool because we have lighting and sound and everything there. It's really kind of cool. But uh, anyway, the website's a great source of information, uh, drjoe.com. Also, the supplements we talk about, the super greens, the essential source, the nitric oxide, uh, B-complex, digestive enzymes, all that's on the website, drjoe.com. And if you want to make an appointment, come see us, drjoe.com. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Let's see, who's been holding the longest right there? Tom, how can we make your day better? Sure. Wow, that's great. Thank you. Sure. Mm-hmm.
I understand. Sure. Sure. How old are you, Tom? Okay, yeah. So I mean, we're, we're close there. Um, you, you, you're doing work, uh, aerobics or you're doing weights? Okay, good. All right, yeah. Oh, you're fine then. Good. Okay. Any digestive issues? Acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating? Excellent. Okay. Yeah, so what happens is it's just harder for us to gain weight, gain muscle mass as we get older. A couple of things I would suggest, of course, super greens is an essential source of the minimum amount of nutrients everybody should be taking. But I would suggest not, uh, adrenal support, Dr. Joe's adrenal support. Because the adrenal glands produce um, pregnenolone, which becomes DHEA, which becomes testosterone. And testosterone is the thing that's going to help you build muscle mass. So by getting your adrenals to produce its own natural testosterone levels, that might help build that muscle mass back up. No, well, you make your own. The testicles and the adrenal glands produce testosterone. And as we get older, of course, those organs get weaker. So if we can feed the adrenal glands, the adrenal glands produce, like I said, pregnenolone, DHEA, and then testosterone. And hopefully that'll help get, build that muscle mass up for you. Yeah, give it a jump start. And that's on the website, drjoe.com. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate you listening. Thanks so much. I do appreciate it. Folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, the website, drjoe.com. And if you have any questions, 844-44-DR-JOE. Let's take another caller. Russ, how can we make your day better? Uh-huh. Sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I understand. Yeah, it's a little high. Okay, a couple of things we want to look at with high blood pressure. Uh, number one, if the stomach is not working properly, or the digestive system, so you have gas, bloating, diarrhea, acid reflux, the nerve that controls the stomach also controls the heart. It's called the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S. And many times, if there's a digestive issue, it can cause the nerve, the vagus nerve to fire off and cause the heart to beat faster than it's supposed to. So we see a lot of patients with high blood pressure, and it's a physical problem. From a chiropractic standpoint, if you have pinched nerves, that can be affecting blood pressure as well. So many people get chiropractic care and their blood pressure returns to normal. Uh, Dr. Joe's nitric oxide would be a good supplement you might want to consider because that opens up the blood vessels, and that can help lower the blood pressure. And then we got to look at the adrenal glands too. The adrenal glands produce anti-inflammatories and the anti-inflammatories uh, can bring it down. So that might help uh, if, if we get the adrenal glands working as well. So does a cup. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that is a hike, unfortunately, yeah. Um, the best thing is to have, come see us and let's see if it is the case, and then we try to work out a schedule around you because I don't know how to adjust over the phone. I haven't figured that one out yet. Um, but if you're having the acid reflux and the heartburn, that can be a problem as well. Uh, you drink enough water, too. Water can help lower blood pressure and flush out some salts out of the system. Okay, good. All right. Um, yeah, but if you want to come see us, I know it's a bit of a ride, but most people, when they come to our office, say, boy, that was worth it. We got people from all over the world come see us. You're only in Rome. That's not far at all, so... All right. all right, Russ, hope to see you soon. Thanks. Yeah, that's the thing is many times we, when you do these analysis, 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 uh, patients will come in and say, you know, Dr. Joe, how did you know that? How did you know that I had acid reflux? How did you know I had this? The nervous system is, 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 a, is a map. And as long as you know how to read the map, you know this nerve controls that and this nerve controls that. And if this isn't working, well, maybe there's something wrong with that nerve. So it's not uncommon um, when we analyze a patient to tell them things that they have that, that they didn't ever told us. And so, yeah, um, just reminding you to get back to sucralose. Oh, was that where I was? Yeah. Okay. Thank <laughs> <laughs> God for Garrett. Gotta back in every yeah, That's right. You know, I wander off there. Uh, folks, if you do have a question, 844 dr Joe is the number uh, here at the studio, 844-44-DRJOE. That number, by the way, rings through my offices when I'm not on the air. So 
And if you want to order supplements, everybody should be on at least Super Greens, an essential source, but nitric oxide, B-complex we talked about. Everyone should be on vitamin D. You have to, have to, have to be on vitamin D in the winter. It's the law. Because uh, you're not getting sunlight, your body isn't producing its own vitamin D, and you want to make sure it's vitamin D3 and not vitamin D2. Um, you can go to website drjoe.com, and I dragged that out long enough to say we're going to talk about sucralose when we come back. Folks, if you have a healthcare question, give me a call at 844 doctor joe The website is there 24 hours a day. Uh, stop suffering. If you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, if you've ever been in a car accident, ever, if the car was damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. So if you want to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge around Atlanta. Just go to website drjoe.com or give us a call at 844 doctor joe Hey, do me a favor. Tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Happy holidays from my family to yours. I'm... All right, I gotta tell Johnny to stop making hand gestures there. <laughs> Is he stressing you out? No, I just gotta tell him write things down like you do because I, I I don't know what you know what that means. So. Yes. All right, we got a bunch coming in on Facebook now. Facebook, it's funny how it goes. Facebook and Instagram and then uh, YouTube and then Stitcher. And... So, hey, Doctor Joe. Hey. My uncle suffers from neuropathy terribly in his feet. Mm -hmm. Gone through all kinds of tests and nothing. He's not a diabetic. All the doctors have done was put him on Lyrica and keep uh -huh. upping his doses. Right. Okay. Uh, when it comes to neuropathy, we got to look at the nervous system. Is he doing anything that can cause neuropathy? Uh, certain foods like artificial sweetener can increase neuropathy. If he's a diabetic, of course, we have to worry about that. But my main concern would be check the nerves and the blood vessels in the low back. The nerves and blood vessels in the low back control the legs and the feet. So many times when we get chiropractic patients, we adjust their low back, the neuropathy goes away, and you think we're the coolest folks around, because uh, we are, but that's why, that's why it goes away. Keep asking questions, I'm going to tie my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. Nice um, love you and your videos. I went vegan three years ago. I don't smoke or drink or do any prescription drugs. Cool. Quit coffee and tea three years ago. Good, excellent. I exercise every day and feel great. Uh-huh, but... but <laughs> There's the butt. I have a serious sugar addiction. What is your advice to help kick the sugar? The question on hold, Hank wants to know, can I be addicted to sugar? So what I'm going to do is you keep holding on. I'm going to answer Hank's question as soon as we come back on the air. I'm going to answer your question as well, because otherwise i got to answer and, it twice. And then go into sucralose. As a what? Caveat. Sucralose? Did I forget something? Yeah, I'll, I'll remind me about sucralose, yes. <laughs> okay. taking some lion's mane. That's right. Get the brain working again. <laughs> um... Okay, hi, Dr. Joe. Hi. I had a large... Hmm. Be careful. Hemangioma. <laughs> Hemangioma? M-E-N-I-N-G-I-O-M-A. Garrett got it right. Meningioma? Yes. Mm -hmm. Meningioma, yeah. And a cyst six uh -huh. years ago. Prior to my frontal lobe craniotomy, uh -huh. I had charley horses and sciatic pain frequently. Yes. I've not had... Either issue since the surgery, right? Do you think the tumor was related? Oh yeah. I've been told it was coincidence and independent of one another, no. but I'm not buying it. No, you're you're right. If you look at something called a homunculus, you could look this one up online. That's a word Garrett's never even heard. Homunculus. Oh, I definitely have. You've heard homunculus? Full Metal Alchemist. It's a show I watched growing up. And you've and, heard uh, of a homunculus? There you go. Them in there, yeah. Thought I had him there. A homunculus is a, is a picture of your brain, and it tells you what different parts of the brain control different parts of the body. And if you have a tumor pushing against a part of your brain that controls your leg, you think you have sciatic pain. And that's why when they removed the tumor, chances are they took the pressure off, off the homunculus. You know, a homunculus is just a, a drawing. Um, took the pressure off that part of the brain, and that's why the pain went away. So I'm really surprised that a neurosurgeon wouldn't know that, because neurosurgeons are usually brilliant. Um, but that's what it was, so I, I'm saying yes. And, and that's what's cool about chiropractic and chiropractic neurology is many times um, you start fixing, you have a problem in one part of the brain, it's close to another part of the brain, you start having symptoms somewhere else, only because they're close to each other. So, so you, you are correct. Actually, this one's got a tattoo from that. He's got a tattoo of a homunculus? Kind of, yeah. That's odd. He's not with us, though. He's not. He's not with him. He's still with us. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah. Do you have a homunculus I, tattoo? I don't know who's talking to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do, but it's not that kind of homunculus. It's uh, from a. It's like a. It's from a TV show we watched. Yeah. Wow. You um, okay. He's, he's a nerd. I am a super nerd. Okay. <laughs> um, so, Doctor Joe, nerd. what's good for tinnitus? Tinnitus is ringing in the ears. 
And of course, your ears are ringing. Answer them. <laughs> um, it could be a pinched nerve. The atlas can move out of place and put pressure on the uh, auditory nerve. That could be an issue. Aspirin can do it as well. Sometimes I've had people with acid reflux, and that caused it as well. We fixed the acid reflux. Garrett has a thought process. Uh, well, so she recently had her amalgam removed Good. and wonders if high blood pressure is related to tinnitus. It could be, yes, absolutely, yeah. And uh, the, the amalgams are metals in your teeth, for those who don't know what that is. So it's very, very smart. Now, if you have your, uh, if you have your monculus removed, if you have your amalgams removed, make sure you go to a biological dentist. If you don't know one, call my office and I'll give you the names of some because you have to be careful when you remove that. Uh, out of the system because if, if the mercury starts to leak into the, the blood system, it can cause a real serious issue. So you want to go to a, what's called a biological dentist who knows how to remove the mercury safely. So the answer is yes, it could be the high blood pressure. And Catherine chiming back in, I knew it. Thank knew you. It. You were right. <laughs> how long do we have? We got two four minutes. minutes. Four minutes. Four oh, minutes. it's eight oh six. Eight oh six. Eight oh four. Depends how much news there is. If there's a lot of news, we're, we're, we're put on hold. So what did you eat today? What did you eat today? Oh, Johnny and I made a big... <laughs> How much marinara sauce did we make? As he says, marinara. Marinara sauce. Uh, jo Johnny is Italian, and every year for Christmas he makes um, a marinara sauce. And so he wasn't going to be in Los Angeles to be with me. Uh, so he... Okay. So we made two pots this big of sauce today. Uh, so I ate that, and I had a salad, and I had some split pea soup. You just had sauce? Well, just tasting the sauce constantly, so I'm sure I have really bad garlic breath right now. And uh, <laughs> good thing it's not smell o vision. And uh, split pea soup, I had two apples and an orange. And super green's an essential source, of course, without, you know. And there's your second dose. There's my second dose today, right? When I do shows, second dose. What else? That's it so far. So if you're real nice, Johnny may give you a quart of marinara sauce. We're going to jar it and seal it up, so. You'll get one. I'm actually going to pull up, because I have a question about San Pellegrino, because I used to drink that stuff like crazy. Oh, we got to do, oh, I got, you know, I got to do our, oh, hold on. I forgot. Oh, yeah, liners. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and this week we're talking about some weird side effects that soda can cause. Dr. Joe, <clears throat> Dr. Joe Esposito here. This week on my show, we're talking about the weird side effects of soda, and we're going to give you solutions as to what to do about them. Hey, we're talking about the weird side effects of soda and what you need to know and what you can do about it this week on the Dr. Joe Esposito show. I forgot about the liners. We got so wrapped up in a, having fun there. And the reason we do liners, by the way, is because we're syndicated all over the world, and so these other stations want to run these commercials about the show, and they'll, they'll, they don't air the, sometimes they don't air it live, so. All right, more questions? Yeah, so essentially it's just a high, a high value mineral water, uh -huh. but a, some of the different flavors are from concentrate. Okay, but here's the thing with mineral water, many times they get the minerals from rocks, mm -hmm. and that's not what's called organic minerals. Again, not organic like you think about organic fruits and vegetables. Uh, you want to get the your minerals from fruits and vegetables. They, they can take the inorganic minerals and convert them into organic minerals. And so drinking mineral water is not a good source of minerals. Ah, but what about the tinnitus? I think we, met, we skipped over that oh, part. Adjust the neck, check the diet, check the stomach, uh, make sure an anti-inflammatory diet. Um, and But chiropractically, we'd have to take a look at that and see where that's coming from with the tinnitus. Yeah, because if it is the blood sugar, right. it could be the digestion. Okay, digestion. I'm learning. You're learning? Garrett's coming around here. And don't give me hand signals. Write things down if you have questions. Well, you got to think before. You got to think before. I did. I got one. If Garrett says something right, I give him a ding. If he pronounces something right. Okay. Meaning that I greatly appreciate acronyms. Yeah, because then it confuses me. Okay. Here we go. Information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. You'll ask yourself, why didn't I listen to him sooner? Dr. Joe Esposito on News 95.5 and AM 750 WSB.
Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Glad you're there because we're talking today about soda and what soda does to your body and the different things that go on. And I have to answer this question on Hank. He's been on hold for a while. But when I, after Hank's question, I'm going to answer uh, the question about caramel color. If you're drinking colas with caramel color, why that can, might be increasing your risk of cancer. So let's go to Hank first. Hank, how can we make your day better? Oh, Hanky boy. You are. Yeah. And sure. Right. Right. Sure. Let me explain the mechanism first, and then I'll tell you what to do about it, okay? We've covered this a lot in the past, but I, I want to make sure you get it. So what happens is sugar gets into the body, any type of sugar, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, and it stimulates a part of the brain called the nucleus acubens. The nucleus acubens has dopamine receptor sites in it. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that gives you pleasure. So what it is, it's a quick, easy, cheap way to get high. You're getting a lot of pleasure from it. And then what happens is when you start coming down off your dopamine high, your body wants to get high again, so what does it do? It craves more sugar. So the, the answer is yes. And the same part of the brain that controls, that is lit up if we do a functional MRI, meaning a real-time MRI, the part of the brain that lights up with sugar also lights up when you do cocaine and heroin. So it, yes, so it, and, and some people have different ways they, re, they utilize dopamine. We have more or less dopamine receptor sites. And if you don't have as many dopamine receptor sites as somebody who can eat a little bit of sugar and not have a reaction, probably what's happening, you more tend to, you have a higher tendency to become addicted. So addicts do have different type of brain functions than non-addicts. So what do we do about this? Number one is you have to get the dopamine receptor sites and the dopamine production back to normal again. And we do that by, of course, stop stimulating it. So what I find with a lot of addicts, we get them on a really super good diet. We get them on Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. We get them on vitamin D. We get them on a plant-based diet, a lot of fruits and vegetables, salad at least once a day. And what happens is after about three or four days, the cravings start to go away. Now, there's a supplement we have at our office. It's not one of my supplements. It's another manufacturer that I use, and it's called Gymnema. And Gymnema helps stabilize blood sugar. So if you call the office yet, you can ask for Kayla or Tara, and um, they can get some gymnema for you, but it's really good for folks that have trouble getting off the sugar. And here's a little trick for you, Hank, in an emergency situation, you're craving sugar, you're Jones, and you're having a real bad time. Take one of the caplets and just chew it. And then when you try eating something sweet, it has absolutely no sweet flavor. And now you're retraining, it's really amazing. It's like a magic bullet if, if, if there's such a thing. So if you're a sugar junkie and you chew on a gymnema caplet and you eat anything sweet, it'll have no flavor at all. So it's really kind of cool. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, well, what happens is when you're eating a lot of bad food, it can irritate the bowels. And if the bowels are being irritated, the bowels are moving. And now if you're not eating that, the, bow the bowels are used to being irritated to make them work. And so we now have to get you on a high fiber diet to kind of reset the bowels as well. Because I know I had a secretary one time and she had diarrhea every time she ate something and she thought everyone had diarrhea. And then once we fixed her, she goes, well, I don't go to the bathroom like I used to. I said, that's better. It's normal. So yeah, we check the nervous system and then we check to see if there's any specific problems with the digestive system. Absolutely. If you go to drjoe.com, you can make an appointment right now if you want to. Or, and if, if you have any questions, you can always call eight, this number, 844-44-DR-JOE, join office hours and we can answer any questions. But do it right online. We'll get you set up right now. Look forward to seeing you, Hank. Thanks so much. Folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. The number here at the studio, 844-44-DR-JOE. 4, 4, Lots of callers. Um... All right, let me take some more callers. I want to cover caramel, caramel color, but you guys are all excited. Susan, how can we make your day better? Hello. Hello. Yes, there's Susan. Hi, Susan. I am. Okay. Sure. 
Okay. Right. Sure. Well, stevia can, if you do it in very small amounts, it's going to be okay. The problem is that stevia, too much sweet, can cause the body to release insulin. And then insulin create insulin resistance, and that may not be something you want to do. So if you do small amounts of organic stevia, you should be okay. Now, don't use it like, oh, I'm going to have all the sweets I want and eat stevia. Not a good idea. But if you have it once or twice a day, that should be fine. You can use the white process form and make sure it's organic. Okay, because otherwise they may be using maltodextrin to cut it, and maltodextrin could be made with genetically modified corn, and, and there's a lot of questions about GMOs and cancer right now. Uh, also, Susan, if, if, you, if I'm going to throw my two cents in here, make sure you're getting enough vitamin D. Okay, extremely important for breast cancer patients, at least 5,000 international units a day. Um, and then also you might want to consider a nutritional yeast. Any good grocery store will carry it. Uh, it's in the health food section. And nutritional yeast has something called beta-glucans. And the beta-glucan specifically found in nutritional yeast is showing a lot of promise in cancer patients. So plant-based diet, absolutely. A little bit of stevia, nutritional yeast, um, super greens, an essential source to alkalize your system because cancer doesn't like acid. Uh, it likes acid, I'm sorry, it doesn't like alkaline. So super greens, essential source, vitamin D, a little bit of stevia, good plant-based diet, and then check out the nutritional yeast. It tastes great, by the way, too. You only need a teaspoon or two a day, and uh, you'll get that beta-glucan. Right, it has beta glucan in it, so the nutritional yeast has it in there, yeah, by definition. Okay, and the super green is the essential source, and the D you can just order online at my website, drjoe.com. Good job, Susan. Thanks so much. I appreciate the call. All right, folks, we're going to have to go to a break. Um, if you're on hold, keep holding, please. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. When I come back, I'm going to get to this, I promise. Uh, we're going to cover uh, caramel color and how that can really increase your risk of cancer. So, folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. The website, drjoe.com. If you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, any of the supplements are all on the website, drjoe.com. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, stop suffering needlessly, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, go to my website, drjoe.com, and make an appointment or give us a call during office hours at 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. And if you've ever been in a car accident, ever, if the car was damaged, you were damaged. I promise you. Stop suffering. Come see us. DrJoe.com. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Does this sound like you? Neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches? Chances are you'd benefit from chiropractic care. Most people benefit from chiropractic care because chiropractic care tries to get to the cause of your problems and not just cover up the symptoms. If you're ready to get well, I want you to go to my website, drjoe.com, or call 844-44-DR-JOE and make an appointment for you, your friends, and your family today. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Make an appointment today so we can help get you well and keep you well. Are you experiencing hot flashes or fatigue? Do you suffer from sleepless? Yes, as a matter of fact. You're ha Garrett is having hot flashes. Might be menopause. <laughs> Gary, are you going through the change early? It's menopause for Garrett. Yeah, right? it's super early. Yeah. Yeah. 25. I know, gosh. Sadly enough, I have clothes older than you. So, <laughs> in fact, the socks I'm wearing might be... No, these are brand new socks, actually. Questions? Um, first off, are most or all of your products gluten-free? Uh, everything is gluten-free. Now, technically, we can't say the, ascent is, the super greens are gluten-free because we use wheatgrass and barley grass. Um, however, the grasses don't produce gluten, the berries do, but according to the FDA, we cannot say they're gluten-free. However, I've had many people with celiac and other conditions take them and never have an issue. So that I can, that's my disclaimer. Everything else is gluten-free. So there's your answer, and thank you for the question, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. Um, isn't that a song? Help me, Rhonda. Oh, help, help, help me, Rhonda. Oh, yeah. um, what is nutritional yeast? I what eat this stuff it? like crazy, but don't really know what it is. Or oh, okay, that's a good question, from. actually. It, it was, yeah, sarc sarco poly or something, yeah. It was originally called brewer's yeast because it was a byproduct of beer. Ah. But what they found was brewer's yeast was so bitter. So they had to try to de-bitter brewer's yeast, and that kind of worked a little bit. But then they realized they can grow brewer's yeast with bacteria and not have beer involved, and it wasn't bitter. And so it's actually, it's grown um, from bacteria. That's a byproduct of bacteria. So. And some restaurants use it for dressings. They also use it to make cheesy type of uh, sauces. Yeah, if you've never had nutritional yeast, it kind of has 
almost like a cheddar cheese flavor, for lack of a better word, maybe. Um, very savory, but I, I just love it. I had it on my salad tonight before I came to the show. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty rocking and rolling, that nutritional yeast stuff. And it's so good. It can help reduce your risk of uh, flu. And, in fact, um, I just read a study that if you're taking about a half a teaspoon of nutritional yeast a day, you can reduce your risk of flu by about 30 to 35%. It's cold and flu. And if you do have it, it can reduce your severity about 50%. That being said, a flu vaccine is right around 30 to 30, 30 to 35% to, re to reduce flu, flu uh, risks of flu. So just a thought, throwing it out there. I was coming down with a cold last week. Uh -huh. was. Yes, she was. Yeah. That was, that was rough. Yeah. I fought through it, but. Uh, and what'd you do? You did wellness booster. Wellness Dr. booster, well. seasonal tonic, which together those. Those are rough. Did you do it in the... Uh, <laughs> They'll wipe out anything. Did you do it in the... I told you, like, do it a lot every Oh, week. yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, went through, I went through a whole bottle of each yeah. in a week. A week? A week. Gosh, I'll do it a day oh, sometimes. I do it yeah. a day. Yeah. You yeah. Are, you, I'm you're not tough. I go, I go a bottle a day, easy. Ugh. That's rough. You're tender. Yeah, I'll do a uh, bottle a day then, each. I did I nutritional yeast at every single meal. Perfect. You don't need a lot, because the studies show that more isn't better. But it's not worse either. Mm -hmm. So it's good. it's okay you did it. That's great. But the seasonal tonic is is helps wipe out an infection if you have it. The wellness booster keeps the immune system strong. I take that every day in the winter. And the vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And if you are sick, you can take up to fifty thousand units of vitamin D for three days in a row. Yep. And then cut back to five to six thousand units a day. Thank you, Ron. The one. only thing I didn't do was the vitamin D. Uh -huh. That really helps a lot. I forgot yeah. about the vitamin D. You should consult with someone who knows. I should, shouldn't I? Like the guy in your office. But yeah, it was 48 hours and I was I was out of it. Out of it. Yeah, I know. Exactly. So so what you did reduced their severity, obviously, mm -hmm. tremendously. Yeah. So throw the vitamin D in there. Maybe 24 hours. Who knows? I'm just saying. Next time, if you catch it 24 to 48 hours before, you don't get That's it. That's right. That's when you go for the acylococcin or the cold cure. Yes. Cold mm -hmm. That thing I sent you, the... Yeah, those work pretty well too. The homeopathics, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. Remember, I sent you the photo. Yes. Yeah. The the packets. Yeah. Cold calm. Yeah. yeah well, cold calm is... isn't a packet. Cold calm is they're just like little pills. You take them every fifteen minutes for a while. Yeah. If it, if you ever have the feeling of aches, pains, a fever coming up, and you go, there's the flu. The silicoxin, one vial every six hours, three times a day. Man, here we go. For me, that's Joe usually can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito on WSB. Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. So glad you're with us. So we're talking today about the side effects of sugar. And of course, as usual, we go down these little rabbit holes and wander around where we are. Uh, Ricky, I know you're on hold. I, I got to cover super low stuff. I've been promising everyone for about an hour. So keep holding on, Ricky. If you have any other questions, give us a call 844-44-DR-JOE. We'll try to get you on the air. Excellent. Good. Okay. Thank you. That's Ahmad. The, we actually need to do a blog post about Jim Nima. Yeah, everybody loves Jim Nima, man. Jim Nima rocks. Jim Nima is a supplement. It comes from the bark of a tree, actually, in Africa. Um, and uh, the story behind it is, is that uh, some of the locals would take it and it would stabilize their blood sugar so they could travel long distances. So they didn't know if they'd have food or not. And so what Jim Nima does is stabilize your blood sugar. So if you have highs and lows, Jim Nima is pretty great for that. And also helps curb your cravings for sugar. And if you're having a craving, you can take the caplet and chew it. It's a capsule, or a caplet, I'm sorry, and chew it. It doesn't taste very good at all. Um, but that's not the problem. That's not the issue. But And then you try eating something sweet and it has absolutely no flavor. And it's the weirdest thing. You can eat something sweet. And I do this sometimes in lectures and, and seminars, live seminars. And I'll, I'll give somebody a tablet, chew it. They taste something. They say it has absolutely no flavor whatsoever. So it's really cool. So this way you say, oh, I'm craving, I'm craving ice cream. You take a bite. It says, it has no flavor. Why am I going to eat this? So it's a lot easier to, you know, help, you know, what we'd call willpower. Uh, with that. So, Jim Nima, we have it at our office. If you call the office, ask for Kayla or Tara or anyone, actually. Uh, we probably have it in stock. If not, we can get it for you within a day or two. It's pretty good stuff, mate. And with any other, any supplements, always make sure you're getting the best. My German grandfather always gave me advice. Always take, always buy the best. It's always cheaper. And that's why Dr. Joe's supplements are what I consider some of the best in the world. Now, let me cover sucralose because I promised that and Garrett's flashing me paperwork here saying, talk about sucralose. Sucralose is a chlorinated hydrocarbon. What that means is we take sugar, we go through a five-step process, and we create something called a chlorinated hydrocarbon. So in theory, the way it works is 
is it's going to stimulate your taste buds. It's going to taste sweet, but it's not going to be absorbed in your colon and just passed out of you. And so it's no problem. The problem is that sucralose does get absorbed. A certain percentage does get absorbed. And sucralose acts as an endocrine disruptor. It looks and acts like estrogen. So what it does is it makes your body think you're having excess estrogen. And estrogen causes abnormal cell growth. And it's one of the reasons why sucralose can actually cause you to gain weight. And I don't want any abnormal cell growth in my body because it can cause serious problems. And I don't think you want abnormal cell growth either. So sucralose is not an option. Okay, in my eyes anyway, as far as an artificial, so as far as an artificial sweetener goes, it's probably just as bad as aspartame for different reasons. So there's my story on sucralose. Let's go back to Ricky here. Ricky, how can we make your day better? Uh huh. What was that? What would help? Oh, ox bile. Uh, it could. Absolutely, yeah, because it's going to help break down the fats in there. Gas usually isn't caused by fats, though. It's usually caused by sugars. But it, the ox bile is certainly worth a try uh, because if your gallbladder isn't producing the right amount of bile, you can take an external source, ox bile. Uh, it is an animal product, and that might help as well. So you can certainly try it. If you don't have any, we carry it at our office, too, so you can try it there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks, Ricky. Appreciate the call. Yeah, it's not one to supplement. We have other companies that we use for supplement sources. So, um, all right, let me cover caramel color because I did promise that too. And I know I, I make promises and then everybody yells at me. I didn't cover it. All right, nonprofit uh, sci uh, Center for Science of the Public Interest petitioned the Food and Drug Administration to ban artificial color used to make colas dark. And the reason is it contains two colorings that have been found to cause cancer in animals a threat that the group says is unnecessary considering the coloring is purely cosmetic. So when you drink sodas that have caramel color in them, they're brown, they have the caramel color and it's strictly cosmetic. And a while ago, certain soda companies started coming out, praise to them, um, with clear colas. And it's kind of weird because you use the cola being brown and here you're drinking clear. It's the exact same thing, folks. It just doesn't have the caramel color in it. So it's... Um, Something you really want to cut out of your diet. It's not just using sodas. It's using a lot of different things. But here's the, t the numbers. Uh, California's pr Proposition 65 listed chemicals known to cause cancer. Just 16 micrograms per person per day of this caramel color um, is enough to pose a cancer threat. 16 micrograms. Popular sodas, diet and regular, contain 200 micrograms per 20-ounce bottle. So 16 is enough to actually be considered a threat in the California guidelines. So I don't recommend colas, of course. If you're going to drink colas, you can get cola, by the way, sweetened with stevia. Now, stevia is a sweetener, 300 times sweeter than sugar, zero calories, 100% safe for diabetics. Um, it can stimulate some insulin reaction, so you don't want to drink it constantly. But I've had many people wean off their diet and regular colas with stevia sweetened sodas, and they find that that's okay. Here's the thing. I was talking about stevia 20, 30 years ago, whenever it became popular. And I remember going to a major soda company and they hired me as a speaker. They said, Dr. Joe, you're the number one health and wellness motivational speaker in the world. And this was years ago. So hopefully we've moved up from there, higher than number one. And they said, we want you to come in and motivate our employees to get better. Because I know that when you come in and speak, our people, product productivity skyrockets. And that's what we want in our company. And I said, it's a soda company. I said, you know who I am? <laughs> you sure you want me coming to speak to a soda company? And they said, absolutely. We know who you are, Dr. Joe. You're very well respected all around the world. We want you to come speak. So I went into research and development and I said, why are you guys using artificial sweetener with all the dangerous side effects? Why don't you use stevia? And their answer surprised me. Their answer was, there's not enough stevia in the world to meet our needs. Okay, didn't have an argument for that, did I? And now you might have heard of two companies called Truvia and Purevia. They're stevia companies. Guess who owns them? Hmm. Coke and Pepsi. So I was right all those years ago. So the soda companies are now coming around and saying, hey, wait a minute, maybe we should consider the stevia and they're investing a lot of money in stevia now. And a lot of countries are now using stevia in their diet sodas. And you'll see that happening now in the United States. One of the major products has one that's half sugar, not high fructose corn syrup, half sugar, half stevia. Uh, it's a cola product. And you're gonna see stevia being introduced more and more uh, which is the plants, from I understand, from the inside scoops. Um, that So you're going to see a lot more stevia coming out in sodas, and yay for that. I'm very, very happy with that, actually. Um, 
So there you go. Dr. Joe is right. It's a big, big column, actually. The, the Dr. Joe is right column is huge. All that's right. A we, pretty big stack of papers. That's a big stack of papers on a Dr. Joe was right in 35 years of my research. And so many times things come around and Garrett sees it all the time. But Dr. Joe, didn't we do a show on that like five years ago? Mod's seen it too. We did a show on that and now it's headline news. Now it's right on every newspaper. So when you listen to these shows, you're going to be way ahead of the curve of everyone else when it comes to health. And there's three things you have to have, and that hasn't changed. A normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. And if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, those are signs that something's wrong with the nervous system. Usually it's a pinched nerve. And so if you'd like to come see us to get that work done, we have chiropractic offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. We would love to be your doctors. And if you've ever been in a car accident, ever, if the car was damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. So, and the sooner you get to us, the better, by the way. So if the accident is today or yesterday, come in tomorrow. But the sooner you get to us, the better it's going to be because we want to get the body healing as quickly as possible. But no matter when the accident was, no matter when your injuries are, happened, come see us and let's get it well. The number to make an appointment is 844-44-DR-JOE. My website is drjoe.com, and you can make an appointment right there. If you want to order supplements, super greens, essential source, uh, the vitamin D, the B-complex, all those supplements are on the website as well, drjoe.com. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Did your health care premiums rise again this year? It's this Herman Cain. Big fan of my show. I thought he was off the air now. Herman? He's still on. He, he does a little segment here and there. Uh, I think once a day he does a small segment. Ran for president. He's a fan of our show. Yes, sir, Mr. Garrett. What are your thoughts on Baobab powder? B-A-O-B-A-B. -B. I don't know what that is. It's a tree in Madagascar. Oh, it's a tree in Madagascar. Well, then that's a bit. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'd have to look that one up. I'm not sure. Maybe it goes by a different name. I'm not sure what that is. So. I do have one, one health benefit here. Some people think that if one drinks from water in which baobab seeds have soaked, you'll be safe from crocodile attacks. Well, there oh. you go. <laughs> so all of you in the Atlanta metropolitan area. <laughs> Now, I, I don't know what it is, but usually tree things like that are high in antioxidants. And so they every every time they come out with a new one, it has some... Vitamin know, C, potassium, carbohydrates, and phosphorus. <coughs> there you go. So, yes, yeah, I was right. And then it's, it's touted as the greatest thing to ever happen. And then sometimes it's true, and sometimes it just fades into oblivion. But, yeah, it's probably fine. But if that's, if that's what it is, I think we're good with it. I'll make sure you look it up. I'll have to look that one up. That's Garrett's job. Make sure I do things. Do you have recommendations for someone like yourself that practices in Albany or upstate New York? Ah, I don't know that offhand. I'd have to look that one up. So if you send me an email through the website, um, drjoe.com, uh, tell me what you're looking. I'll try to find you somebody. But um, I, I can't put too much energy into it because I can call around and try to find people. But sometimes I look and I say, oh, that's where you know Bob practices. And I know Bob went to school with him. I like Dr. Tom Ayers in Raleigh, North Carolina. Big shout out to Tom Ayers. Um, probably the second best chiropractor in the world. If Tom's watching, I'm smiling when I said that. So. <laughs> no, Tom's great. He's the man. Turns out she's not drinking it for crocodile protection. Oh, no. Well, then I don't know why you'd be drinking it, because that's the reason I drink it every day. <laughs> and so far, no crocodile. No crocodile. <laughs> Must be working. <laughs> All right. What about uh, almond milk creamer? It's okay, but still a lot of sugar. And what do you think about the Silk brand? Um, they're all good. I mean, I, I like a lot of them, but they're just, it's, it's like sugar water. So you just got to be careful with that. You're going to use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Now, have you ever seen people use cayenne pepper to aid in sweet cravings? Yes, it's a vasodilator, so it increases circulation. So that might help. And uh, if we increase circulation in the stomach, it might, I don't know this, might be able to release leptin. Leptin goes into the hypothalamus and tells you that you're full. So it might work. Sure. And also, when you're craving sweets, if you give yourself something sour or hot, it changes what you're craving, too. Yeah. Of course, you have to like hot food to make that happen. So if you don't like hot food, hey. If you don't like spicy food, forget about it. You're going to go for the ice cream. Yep. I skipped over uh, ketchup. I just used sriracha. There you go. Yeah, ketchup is 42% sugar, too. Usually high fructose corn syrup, so. That darn cat sucks. Little bitch there. Any more questions? I'm looking, but I Where's, think we pretty much... Where's light on questions today on social media? Hey, social media folks, you got homework, you know. Your homework is to share this with everyone you know, with your list, so that we can get more and more followers. Because, like I said, as far as we know, we're the number one health and wellness uh, live streaming show in the country right now. 
Yeah, that's right, man. That web guy is giving us the sign, man. Ray wanted to know, actually, if we're having any specials, and you'll just have to wait around to see. All right, Ray. Garrett gives me the specials at the end of the show, so I don't know. Not yeah, not even Doctor. And I mean Jerry that. Knows. I don't, I honestly don't know. He he surprises me at the end. So if he's in a good mood, he'll run a special this week. But do this. Uh, send me your email address, drjoe.com, um, and we'll put you on our email list because that's how we send out a lot of special things. We have special lectures. May have uh, sales on supplements. Uh, we might have a special blog or a special lecture that only my folks on the uh, that we have their email address for gets on that. So you could be co become one of the cool kids. Garrett's thinking. I can tell. I'm possibly setting up a coupon code. Oh, that's what he's up to. He's a <laughs> sneaky one, that Garrett. We need to prod these YouTubers for some more questions. Yeah, come on, folks. If you have questions, if not, you get to hear me yap, and you don't want that. All right, we come back. We're going to talk about accelerated aging, the uh, advanced glycation end products that occur with sugar. And then we got to cover some of those drinks with uh, brominated vegetable oils and what that does to your thyroid. What are some of the better vegan sources of nutrition for recovering cartilage? Uh, if this is to recover from an injury. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Specifically, um, a dancer. Okay. Uh, Garden of Life. Yeah. Um, what you want to do is consider super greens an essential source, of course, to alkalize the system because you have acids eating away at the joint. If the joint is damaged, you really want to consider chiropractic care as well because we can give you the best vegan, non-vegan sources. If a joint is out of alignment, it's just going to keep wearing out, wearing out, wearing out. So what we find in our offices, and we have three of us are vegans in the office, I think. Yeah, there's three okay. of us now. Yeah. When we put the bones back in place, then the body's able to heal. Nitric oxide is very good for that too because it increases circulation and circulation can bring nutrients into the damaged area. Uh, and then, uh, so we do super greens, essential source, nitric oxide, and then you need to be complex as well to help the body work. But you got to think about this. People talk about bone broth and cartilage. And all stuff. Everything breaks down, all proteins, whether it's from a carrot or a steak, breaks down to amino acids. Goes into the liver and then gets reassembled. So it doesn't matter where those sources of pro where those sources of amino acids are coming from as long as you're able to digest them. Because the same amino acids that you're going to find in, in fruits and vegetables are found in, in cartilage or bone broth. And the thing with bone broth drives me nuts is that every one they've ever tested is high in mercury, high and, and, and aluminum, it's high in heavy metals. So why would you drink that stuff? It makes no sense to me. I, I, don't, I don't get it. So yeah, everything breaks down to car into amino acids and then gets reassembled. So super greens, essential source, making sure you have a good digestive system, that's going to be where the best source to get amino acids from. So are you, so are the three people in the office do they have vegan diets or totally vegan lifestyle? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But actually, there's four of us. Who's the fourth? There's four of us. Tina, Kat, you. Oh, that's right. Tina. I forgot about Tina. Yeah, so there's four of us now. We're taking over, man. That's right. One, one at a time. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I have a pretty much vegan lifestyle, I, I, I guess. I mean, I don't buy leather or anything like that. I mean, I don't know about the other folks, but I live a vegan lifestyle. So. That's true. I have a leather wallet. So. Leather wallet? I'm, I'm out of underwear. that. Leather uh -huh. underwear? Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of that one. Headquarters studio at WSB. If you ignore your health, it will go away. Listen to Dr. Joe Esposito on News 95.5 and AM 750 WSB. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're there. Gosh, if you're just tuning in, you're missing an amazing show. But the good news is this and well over a thousand hours of other shows are going to be on my website, drjoe.com. Uh, we have audios uh, on SoundCloud, so you can download them if you like. We have videos. We have lectures that I've done that aren't radio shows. We do little breakout sessions. Um, so the website's a great place to go. So make sure you, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We live stream a lot of our shows, so you get to see them live. And then we take those shows and put them on. Uh, the website, of course, and supplements are all on the website. People always call in the show or s send in messages. Um, uh, the supplement, super greens, the essential source, that's the minimum amount of nutrients you should be taking every day. Those are on the website, drjoe.com. In the winter, make sure you're getting your vitamin D. Uh, very important. You need about 5,000 uh, international units. That's how they measure it, uh, vitamin D. Uh, our vitamin D, it's about five drops 
of, of, of uh, vitamin D every single day. Make sure you get that in the winter. You're going to be really, really happy with that decision. Uh, the adrenal support helps with inflammation, uh, helps uh, with the adrenal glands, which also produces hormones, um, can give you energy. So the adrenal support is something I take every single day. The B-complex I take every day. Uh, probiotics. One of the things that happens is if you eat a lot of sugar, you can have what's called a yeast overgrowth. And yeast uh, is in your colon and it competes with bacteria in your colon. And if you start getting yeast overgrowth, you might see things like thrush in your mouth, jock itch, uh, vaginal infections, itchy rectum, ath athlete's foot, rashes under the arms. And that's almost always a yeast infection. So a little trick you can do to find out if you have taken in too much sugar and you do have this yeast infection is tonight or when you go to bed to put a clear glass of water next to your bed. And tomorrow morning we wake up, you get a big mouthful of spit, kind of scrape your tongue with your teeth and gather all the spit in your mouth and then spit into a glass. And if you start getting little tentacles, it looks like a jellyfish hanging down from the spit, chances are you have a yeast infection. And if you do, it's not an easy answer. Like sometimes on the show, I can give you quick answers. Uh, you might want to come see us or give us a call. We can do a phone consult or, or a Skype consult, depending where you are in the country or the world. And we got to do a little work on that, getting the diet straightened out. We got to get you on a yeast protocol. If you have yeast, you want to do everything you can to get rid of it as quickly as possible. It's way more than a nuisance. It can actually cause real serious damage to your body. So uh, if you have that issue, it's usually due to too much sugar. We got to control that yeast and it's a, it's, it's a really serious issue. So we're talking today about soda, weird side effects, and soda can speed up the aging process. Because when you eat a lot of sugar, sugar binds with proteins and creates something called advanced glycated end products. And the letters for that are A-G-E. It actually ages you, advanced glycated end products. And that gets into your connective tissue. Uh, somebody had a question off the air uh, about cartilage repair. And if you're doing a lot of sugars, the advanced glycated end products can actually bind to your connective tissue and prevent them from healing. And that can lead to things like wrinkles. And if you're seeing wrinkles on the outside, it's also happening inside your body. So wrinkles on the outside are just a, a fraction of the damage that's going on in your body. Acid foods, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, all of that um, it can speed up the aging process as well because it creates something called free radicals. But the sugar creates the advanced glycated end products. And if you're doing colas that have phosphates in them, or phosphoric acid, that can be a problem too. Now, phosphoric acid occurs in naturally occurring foods as well, uh, but when you concentrate it, you can get it in meat, dairy products, nuts. Uh, that has phosphoric acid, which again, I'm not a fan of meats and dairy products, but the soda is another source and it really can trigger the aging process. Uh, one study in a journal called FASEB found that excessive phosphate levels found in sodas cause lab rats to die a full five weeks earlier than rats who did not eat, who had normal phosphate levels. So if you raise your phosphate levels, it happens in rats, it probably is happening in humans as well. And that's a disturbing trend because a lot of manufacturers are using more phosphates in their sodas, not less. So that's a big issue. I do want to cover um, sodas uh, that are usually orange or yellow in color. Yellow, bright, fluorescent, I guess is the word. And they have energy drinks in them and they have diet and they have regular. But these type of drinks, I won't give you a brand name, are contain something called brominated vegetable oil. Now, brominated vegetable oil is used so that the colors stay homogenous, so that the colors don't separate in the soda, because if you had a soda and the colors were separating, you probably wouldn't be eating it. But the brominated vegetable oil is really a big issue, because bromine is what's called a haloid. Now, haloids, the haloids are bromine, fluorine, chlorine, and iodine. And when you have haloids in your body, uh, the iodine goes into your thyroid gland to make sure thyroid work. And somebody was on call, hold before about that and they hung up, so I didn't get to their question. But the thyroid gland produces thyroid hormones. And they're called, they have numbers, T1, T2, T3, and T4. And T4 is converted into T3 in the liver. But what do those numbers mean? One, two, three, and four. That's how many molecules of iodine are attached to the hormone. So you need to get iodine in your diet, and most people don't get uh, nearly enough iodine in their diet. And that's why one of the, another one of the many benefits of super greens and essential source is that it has iodine in it. It has sea vegetables, which is a great source of iodine. And, oh gosh, we're getting all sorts of questions here coming in. All of a sudden, lines light up again. Um, but the brominated vegetable oils have iodine. Iodine goes into the thyroid and helps produce thyroid hormones. If you're eating a lot of chlorine, fluorine, and bromine, it can block up the iodine receptor sites in your thyroid because it looks like iodine, but it blocks it up so you can't absorb iodine. 
So a double whammy here. Number one, most of you are not getting enough iodine in your diet, and you need to be. And then number two is that if you're doing these brominate, these uh, haloids, it's blocking up the thyroid receptor sites, and so you can't absorb the iodine, and that can cause thyroid problems. So a lot of times people will go to the doctor, and I see this all the time, and they get a thyroid test done, and they say, the thyroid's fine. We don't know what's wrong. Your thyroid levels are fine. My concern is that if you're not getting iodine in your body, your body can't be producing the right amount of hormones. It's impossible. But it can start using these cheap forms, the other haloids, that can affect the thyroid as well. So in a case like that, you really want another reason to take super greens and essential source. Make sure you're getting enough iodine. It's really, really important. I have a bunch of callers here. Let me see if I can get them here. This one didn't want to come on the air. Different uh, connection between menopause and uh, urinary, uh, UC flare-ups. Um, I'm, I'm assuming ulcerative colitis. There you go. Thank you. Um, could be. When the hormones change, your body changes dramatically. That's another reason you want to make sure you take care of your thyroid gland because it helps control your hormone levels. So the ulcerative colitis, what I usually find with that is the stomach can be pushed up against a diaphragm. Uh, the colon can be spasmed. You're eat, you have to, have to, have to, have to cut out things like dairy and wheat when you have ulcerative colitis because those cause inflammatory reactions in the colon. And that's what it is. Itis means inflammation, I-T-I-S. So if you're having an itis and an inflammatory reaction, the dairy and the um, wheat are two things that will certainly flare it up. So you've got to cut that out. Uh, chiropractic standpoint, we want to check the nerve supply to the organ. So if you have a pinched nerve in your low back, that might cause back pain, leg pain, hip pain, knee pain. That same nerve controls your colon, sex organs, and bladder. So now you might see gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, urinary problems, sexual problems, prostate issues, uh, menstrual cycle issues. So when, when ulcerative colitis patients come in our office or any digestive issues, we check to see if the stomach is, needs to be adjusted. We can adjust the stomach away from the diaphragm. We check the uh, ileocecal valve. It's a valve between your small and large intestines. Sometimes we have to adjust that. Uh, we make sure you're not on inflammatory foods. Of course, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. But the keys there are going to be uh, wheat and uh, dairy products. And then we get you on Dr. Joe's probiotics. The probiotics are good bacteria to help recolonize the colon. And of course, super greens an essential source. Folks, got to go to a break. This is the last, uh, last break coming up. If you have any questions, give us a call at 844-44-DR-JOE. That number, by the way, rings through to my office is when I'm not on the air. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, you're suffering, stop suffering needlessly. In most cases, we get great results. Go to the website in the Atlanta area. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. The website is drjoe.com to make an appointment or call us at 844-44-DR-JOE during business hours. Hey, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Seven minutes. Eight minutes. Chances are you'd benefit from chiropractic care. Most people benefit from chiropractic care because chiropractic care tries to get to the cause of your problems and not just cover up the symptoms. If you're ready to get well, I want you to go to my website, drjoe.com, or call 844-44-DR-JOE and make an appointment for you, your friends, and your family today. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Make an appointment today so we can help get you well and keep you well. Hey, maybe you don't have time. All right, last segment. So we got a guy here. He's about 255 pounds, right okay. at about six feet. Uh -huh. Can't gain any more weight. Works construction, so obviously he's, he's doing work to build muscle. <clears throat> maybe nitric oxide. Can't gain weight? Wants to gain more? Wants to gain more. Oh, wants to gain more weight. Okay. He's only six foot? Yeah, six foot and 250? That's a big boy right That's there, man. That's a big boy right there. I don't want to mess with him. Uh, Who's going to be a professional wrestler or something? Yeah. Um, but again, if you want to gain weight, the nitric oxide might help. If you have acid reflux or heartburn, you may not be digesting your food properly. So that could be an issue. So we may have to pull the stomach away from the diaphragm. I would recommend adding avocados to your diet and nuts. The avocados and nuts can give you those good fats that can help put on the weight as well. So I would look at the physical issues, the super green central source of nitric oxide, of course, and then uh, we'd look at avocados and nuts. Okay, what is better, iodized or non-iodized salt? Air-dried sea salt is going to be the best, which is not iodized. So you, you're not going to get a good source of iodine from salt. It's just enough to prevent goiter, but it's not enough to really help you. You need a higher levels of that. That's why the super green sea essential source are great. But air-dried sea salt or Himalayan salt are going to be the best salts that you can do. And how do you feel about bioplasma and 12-cell salts? I don't know what those are. So once again, you stump me. So I can't give Good you a job. I'd have to look that one up. We got to look up bioplasma, 12-cell salts, and uh, the crocodile 
No, the crocodile. Bo- 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 Rocky Balboa. Yeah, there you go. Bawa bow. Bow bow. Bow bow bow. Bow bow. Maybe. Probably. Bow bow. Okay. What else we got? That's it for now. Um, okay. I, I'm so surprised that I spent so long and have eaten so many bottles of... Careful. No brand um, names. Yeah, but well, we're not on the That's okay. Way. I still like to be clean, you know. Um, no. I've eaten so much nutritional yeast and didn't know what it was until today. Oh, that. Yeah, okay. Oh, really? yeah, that you could say nutritional yeast. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, now you know. In what? Do you know what you have in it? I have it in all kinds of stuff. No, I mean, but you knew you were. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I sprinkle it on like it's uh, cheese powder. That's like what I do. Yeah. There's a, re- there's a vegetarian restaurant in Los Angeles that called The Spot. Uh, they actually have dressings and other stuff and dips that they specifically use nutritional yeast for. It's like their signature dips dressings. The Spot. I think I ate at the spot. It's on close to the beach. Let's see. Okay, we'll talk about how diet soda causes belly fat and why it makes you hungry. We got the me- mechanism behind this. I promised that at the beginning of the show. Right? By the way, you, you, one of the things you haven't mentioned about how the aspartame crosses the blood-brain barrier and does not have an exit. Yes. Which is why when young girls, like these young girls who have been on Diet sodas and everything, you know, they die, they die stuff. They they've done uh, like brain autopsies and stuff. Aspartame, all these chemicals of aspartame. Yeah, it can lead to astrocy- astrocy- astrocytomas and gliomas. Yeah, so there's a link. What's there his too. name? Blade Blade Blaylock. Uh, Richard, the guy who talked about yeah. that. Yeah, he's 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 great. I love his research. But that's a big thing about how it crosses the blood-brain barrier, mm-hmm. and it can't get out. Okay, got it. Good. All right. <coughs> Lots to cover here. Oh, here we go. It's Steve Winslow. It's over there. We're at County on I-85, northbound from McCoyer Trail, cleared off to the right at Pleasant Hill Road. Disabled vehicle itch. also cleared off to the right on 85. Modest South please over there. I don't know. Trying to scratch his back. 285. Southside crash in Union City has been cleared off of 85. Northbound past Black Shoals Road. Speed limit conditions getting up to the south side perimeter. Also, touch of the brakes on by a stalled vehicle. 75 mm. southbound at Howell Mill Road. Heading into Seven the downtown connector. Steve Winslow, WSB. You did eat that? Yes. And my... The five most dangerous okay. words in the English language are, maybe it will go away, stop suffering, and start getting well. Dr. Joe Esposito is on WSB. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're joining us. Hey, listen, if you're just joining us, you missed an amazing show. You don't want to miss it, but you did. So go to my website, drjoe.com, and you can catch this and well over a thousand hours of other shows uh, on our podcast. We have audio on SoundCloud, so you can download it. We also have videos. Uh, we videotape a lot of my live lectures, uh, aside from the shows, and it's a lot of fun. We do a, sh- a, a, a podcast called For the Health of It, and we do that in front of a camera, which is kind of cool. It's in TV stu- studios upstairs here at the studio, and uh, we got a backdrop, and it's really neat. We have lights and sound and everything. So um, so all that's on the website, drjoe.com. If you haven't ordered your Super Greens and Essential Source yet, you need to. It's the minimum amount of nutrients you need every single day. And every day, patients come into our offices, the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge, and they are nutritionally deficient. And we get them on a good protocol, we get them eating the right foods, we get them on good supplements, and they say, just like our chiropractic patients, why didn't I do this sooner? And most of them are both. Most people get chiropractic and nutrition. Um, And we want to be your doctors. We want to help get you well and keep you well. And here's a little trick for you, because we always want to save you money. If you come by the offices and pick up the products, you don't have to pay shipping which makes life a lot easier. So uh, if you want to get the supplements, are on the website, drjoe.com, and our addresses are there as well if you want to um, come in and see us. We'd love to have you come in. Neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, and your children. Somebody called in and said, don't forget to mention chiropractic care and children. It's done wonders for my children. Uh, if kids are, if their spines are straight, they grow straight. If they're crooked, they grow crooked. So stop suffering and get your kids on the right track. As a parent, you want to do everything you possibly can for your child. I couldn't imagine anything better than getting them under chiropractic care and a good diet. So all that's on the website, drjoe.com. Let's take another call here. Dave, how can we make your day better? Uh, 
Ajá. Absolutely. Saunas are awesome. Uh, the, the infrared saunas are just amazing because it's one of the few ways we can actually get heavy metals out of our system. Things like, yeah, mercury and lead, uh, aluminum. So saunas are just rocking. Um, so you want to get in your sauna as often as you can, absolutely positively. Uh, the steam room is okay because it makes you sweat, but just make sure it's clean. Yeah, because if there's a fungus or a mold growing in there and you get into your system, that can cause some real serious problems. And I know a lot of times in gyms, they'll use a lot of chlorine to clean them, but that chlorine is a toxin as well. Um, I have a steam shower at my house, and I use it just about every day, especially in the winter, uh, and I just love it. It's just amazing. But yeah, the saunas are just awesome for everybody, not just people that work out. But yes, keep doing it. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate the call. And if you do work out, folks, I want to make sure that you have everything lined up properly. Because if you're working out, you might be building up strong muscles around crooked bones. I want you building up strong muscles around straight bones. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, a lot of athletes come to us and say, Doc, you got to fix my knee, my foot, my ankle, my back, because I want to keep working out. I say, I understand that's why you're here, but I want you to also consider that if you have bones out of place and you keep working out, you're going to wear the joints out. And that's why so many professional athletes and rock stars and uh, people have their chiropractors because they realize that th their, their body is their, their machine and they have to make sure it's working at top, uh, top physical performance. So you can have the same benefits that the rock stars and the athletes have by just keeping everything lined up. And it really just makes sense that the body should function normally. All right, I want to uh, cover one more thing about why diet soda might be making you hungry. So what, what we're finding now is artificial sweeteners and sugar alcohols, things like uh, um, it, 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 it's, they, they use them sometimes in artificial sweeteners, uh, it can cause the gut bacteria to adapt in a way that interferes with the, chemical, the mes messages that go up to your brain. So gut flora can actually evolve and change if you're, it's living in a super sweet environment or it has artificial sweeteners in there. And these bacteria start to produce something called short-chain fatty acids. And short-chain fatty acids, when they get into the body, uh, can affect how your body signals to the brain that you're hungry. It, it affects a hormone called ghrelin, and ghrelin can actually make you hungry. So large amounts of high fructose corn syrup, artificial sweeteners, sugar alcohols like xylitol, they can produce more short chain fatty acids because they actually change the bacteria. And these short chain fatty acids produce, the, produce more ghrelin. Ghrelin goes up to the hypothalamus and makes you feel full. Leptin is a hormone that's produced in your stomach and it goes up to your hypothalamus and says that you're full. Ghrelin makes you feel hungry. I'm just gonna make sure I was clear on that. So ghrelin makes you hungry and now these short chain fatty acids are affecting ghrelin production. So if you eat a high a sweet diet, whether it's real sugar or artificial sweetener, it's actually changing the bacteria. There's actually processes now that are being done in the medical world, and I think it's kind of bizarre, but they're taking the bacteria out of skinny people's colons and putting it in fat people's colons. Because skinny people have different bacteria than fat people, and it's called a fecal transplant. I promise you that's a real word. And the fecal transplant is trying to recolonize fat people's colon. I, can, I used to be fat, so I can say the F word. Uh, can try to recolonize fat people's colons. Well, why don't we just eat good food like Dr. Joe's Supergreens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, a salad at least once a day, something raw at every meal, cutting out the breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, and sugars. Now you'll grow your own bacteria. It'll change the bacteria in your colon. And so now you don't have to consider a fecal transplant little extreme as far as I'm concerned. And what's neat is when you start doing this, uh, Dr. Joe's uh, Super Greens and Essential Source have prebiotics and probiotics. Probiotics are the good bacteria. Prebiotics feed the good bacteria. And we also have Dr. Joe's probiotic supplement as well, uh, isolated. Uh, and you can take that as well if you've done a lot of antibiotics or if you're taking antibiotics. If you're taking antibiotics, folks, you have to be taking probiotics. You have to recolonize your colon. And that's why when you take the antibiotic, if you take it in the morning, take the probiotic at night because you want to recolonize and get those, those good bacteria levels up. Because 70% of your immune system is in your colon. Some people say 80%. I say about 70%. So if you don't have good bacteria, it's going to affect your immune system. And this is one of the reasons why you eat bad foods like sugars and you get sick because it's going to affect the colon as well. And I can't stress enough the importance of colon health. 
And sometimes it's chemical, like you're doing too many sugars or sugar alcohols or artificial sweeteners. Sometimes it's physical. If the stomach pushes up against the diaphragm, the stomach can spasm and it's not going to digest food properly. And if it's not digesting food properly, the food can actually sit in your colon and rot. And if it rots or it's undigested food, it can tear little holes in your colon, and that's called leaky gut syndrome. And when you have these little holes in your colon, undigested pieces of food, bacteria, fecal matter, can be absorbed into your blood system, and now your immune system has to start attacking it, and it just makes a mess. So in order to get well, of course, we talked about soda today, you want to cut out the bad foods, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, eat more fruits and vegetables, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, minimum amount of nutrients you need every day. Those are on the website, drjoe.com. And consider chiropractic care. Neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. Chiropractic care is just amazing. It's so much more than pain. So if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Go to my website, drjoe.com, and you can book right online. Uh, or you can call us at 844-44-DR-JOE because my team of doctors naturally want to get you well and keep you well. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time. Are you experiencing hot flashes or fatigue? All right, social media, thanks so much for being here. Make sure you share this with all your friends, and we'll catch you next time. And the coupon code... Oh, the coupon code. Oh, coupon code is Oz, O-Z. O-Z, because we'll be on Dr. Oz on Wednesday at 3 o'clock Atlanta time. Check your local listings if you're around the country. But OZ, there you go, we're stealing it. Coupon code OZ. And what do they get for the OZ? You get free shipping on No Dr. way. Shipping paid for by Dr. No Joe. No way, am I paying for that? <laughs> that Garrett. All right, folks, thanks again. Uh, OZ is the, is the code, so when you order all your supplements, just use OZ. We'll catch you next time. And we're clear. I had a guy ask on Facebook, said, uh, you know, what are your, what's your thought on Monster Energy drinks? Oh, wait, I already know. <laughs> and I chime back in. They're great. Perfect part of a balanced breakfast. There you go, yes.